You probably know that the sum of the interior angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. But did you know that you don't have to assume that? You can prove it's the case. Let me show you how to do that. We will start with the fact that angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Now you might ask why that is and whether we can also prove that. And the answer is that at some point we do need to make a choice of units in which to measure angles. If we decide to call a full turn 360 degrees, then a straight line is half of that and must be 180 degrees. We could make a different choice, just like we sometimes measure distance in kilometres and sometimes in miles, there are also other commonly used units for angles. On most calculators you can change these units from degrees to either radians with 2 pi as a full turn or even gradients with 400 in a full turn and a neat 100 in a right angle. We'll stick to degrees here, but what I'm trying to say here is that we're really proving that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to the sum of the angles in a straight line, whatever unit of angle that you choose uh, to use. So here's the proof. Let's start with any triangle and draw a line parallel to one side of that triangle through its third vertex. In doing so, we create these equal angles that I've marked as x called corresponding angles. Then these two angles marked are on a straight line with each of the angles marked x, and so they must also be equal. If you know parallel line theorems, these are called alternate angles. In the same way, the angles marked as y here are equal, and so these angles marked b must be equal too. Now let's label the last angle in the triangle c. We can see that a plus b plus c is 180 degrees, because angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees, but the angles in the triangle are also a, b and c, and so their sum is a plus b plus c as well, so that's also 180 degrees. So that's it, we've proved that the angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. And we can actually build all other polygons out of triangles, so if you understand triangles you can understand all other polygons too. So make sure to take a look at this video where I'll show you exactly how to use this result to work out the interior angles in all of the other polygons with any number of sides.